Recently, I was digging through some of my old games when I came across this, Silent Hill 4 The Room. I remember asking my dad to take me to GameStop so I could pick this game up when I was younger. I had been in one of their stores previously and saw an advertisement on GameStop TV for Silent Hill 4. The host said that it was the scariest one in the series. They recommended playing it all alone at night with one of your windows open. Young me was so excited to go get it, get home and get scared. This was the only copy they had in my area, so I had to settle with this. Unfortunately, I didn't like Silent Hill 4 as much as I wanted. I'd only played Silent Hill 3 before this one and I was a little disappointed with some of the gameplay decisions that they changed between the two. That wasn't the only thing that bothered me though. I wanted Silent Hill 4 in its original box. To be honest, I probably had bad opinions about Silent Hill 4 because it came in this generic GameStop artwork display box instead. I was an ignorant, unappreciative child, so please forgive me. I felt like my experience was incomplete. This, this looks like something, all right? The American box art for Silent Hill 4 is so cool. Why does mine have this? GameStop is one of those trade your games for cash or credit type stores. Sometimes they only take in game discs. This means that they have a bunch of empty game cases in the back without any art in their sleeves. They print off the title and the ESRB rating on the super generic GameStop themed cover art, pop it into the case, and then get it out on the sales floor so that way people can recognize it and hopefully buy it. For my recollection, I don't think that there was a price difference between getting a game in its original box versus getting a game in its original GameStop box, <laughs> which kind of sucks if you're a game collector, I guess. Let's take a look at this box art, shall we? You might notice something that is kind of weird with my copy. Silent Hill 4 came out on the PS2 and original Xbox, not on the Xbox 360, even though it does have the logo at the top. My guess is they never had covers made with the original Xbox logo and assumed nobody knew or cared. It's nice they included the BC Xbox, which I'm guessing denotes backwards compatibility, meaning this does work on an Xbox 360, which was important to know at the time. Now, the most important thing, the artwork. Personally, I don't hate this, but some of the poses are questionable to say the least. What is this person doing? What's going on with this one's mouth? This person on the bottom bears a striking resemblance to the character Noodle from the early days of the gorillas. <laughs> Personally, I think it looks like old internet web comics like Control Alt Delete or Penny Arcade, which makes sense because those are important aspects to uh, gaming culture. <laughs> There have actually been a couple of different renditions of this box art cover. Uh, this one here is one you might recognize a little bit better. I remember seeing this one quite often at GameStop too. I thought this was this person's arm at first glance, but I realized it's actually the guy from my box just in a weird place behind them. Seeing this artwork again makes my brain time travel back to a simpler era. It makes me feel super nostalgic. You can tell they were trying to be really relatable too. They have all these really cool looking dudes posing with their ergonomically inefficient game controllers. One thing that's really charming about this art style is that it looks like it's something anybody could draw. If you own a drawing tablet, you could probably knock out an illustration that looks somewhat similar to this. Someone online compared the art style to a show called The Nut Shack from 2007. I had never heard of this show before and I decided to check it out for this video to see what it was all about. I'm gonna be honest with you guys when I say, I made it about 15 seconds into the show before I just shut it off. It seems like it was made to be offensive, just to be offensive, and I don't really have time for that. I will admit the art styles are pretty similar though. It is a wild coincidence that the Nut Shack came out in 2007, and my receipt for this game says I got it in 2008, so maybe they are related somehow? I highly doubt it, but it's fun to speculate. As an adult, I actually prefer having this version of Silent Hill 4 The Room instead of the original box art. Knowing that Silent Hill 4 is a horror game and housing the disc in the GameStop default display cover case makes me feel like I have a cursed copy of the game. Like if I boot it up, I'm gonna get myself into a Ben Drowned or Lavender Town creepypasta situation. The artwork from the mid 2000s is very edgy and catches your attention, but it's very dated in terms of relevance. I actually went to my local GameStop to see what the current generic display artwork looked like. Not to be mean, but it's very bland and boring, but it does its job. Well done. 
The question that spawned this video initially was, who drew this? Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you. I tried my hardest to search for any result. I contacted GameStop through a bunch of different means and they either didn't have an answer for me or just didn't answer their phones. Realistically, I didn't expect to get a solution from the source. My guess is that GameStop probably contracted just some random illustrator they found on like DeviantArt and then after they stopped using this cover artwork, they just deleted the person's contact information and name out of their systems. I'm not the first one to search for this either. This is something that pops up occasionally on different social media platforms, and it looks like nobody else has had any luck tracking down the artist. The only way I think we'll ever know is to keep bringing attention to this subject. Maybe someday someone who knows the artist will come forward, or who knows, maybe even the artist themselves will see a post online and finally admit to doing it. <laughs> I'm just genuinely curious what else this artist has been up to. Have they made anything else? Are they still making illustrations? And if they are, I want to see some of them. If I end up hearing anything else about this, I'll make an update video or I'll pin a comment in the comment section below. If you know anything about the artist or have any leads of who it could be, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is in the description. I did revisit Silent Hill 4 as an adult while I lived by myself in my old apartment. I hooked up my CRT television and played this game alone at night. I even cracked the window just like GameStop TV recommended. And I've got to say, it completely changed my perspective on this game. Silent Hill 4 is now probably my favorite game in the series. I'm glad I have this copy of Silent Hill 4. I feel like I own a piece of gaming history, like I have a piece of art from an unknown artist. And just like an archeologist wants to unearth and preserve history, someday I hope I unearth who created this masterpiece. Thank you so much for watching. Consider adding me to your subscription collection. I come with my original box art. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and maybe leave a comment if you have a game with this mysterious artwork. See you soon.